All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy video. Now, we have a Gen Z voter, all right? But this is an undecided Gen Z voter. He confronted Trump about a question that we all have as the American people. Y'all will hear the question right in a few seconds. But I want to say this. I don't understand how you can even be an undecided voter at this point, okay? I mean, like, bro... Everything has already been revealed. We see what type of woman Kamala is. We see the policies that she's for. And then we see the policies that Trump is for. Like, how could you even be an undecided voter at this point? You know what I'm saying? If you vote for Kamala, I'm sorry, but you're voting for a disaster, bro. You're voting for us to be in the same predicament that we're in now. Like, we're going to be in the same predicament for another four years. Like, you're that's what you're voting for, bro. Just use common sense when you vote. And don't vote based off your feelings. Just use common sense. Use logic, Okay. Anyways, without further ado, man, we're finna hear what this Gen Z voter has to ask Trump. Let's get it. Let's go. My name is Luke Pulaski, and I'm a junior here at the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. I'll be voting for the first time in November, and I'm researching each candidate. And I have two questions for you. First, as I've been living on my own and buying my own gas and groceries, I have noticed that everything has become more expensive. Man. For me personally, I try to eat healthy and stay lean. A pound of meat has gone from four dollars to almost seven dollars. I also we would like to buy a home someday, but that seems just impossible now. What's your plan to make life more affordable and bring down inflation for someone like me? Very good. Thank you. Good. It's probably the question I get most. You know, they say you're going to vote with your stomach. I don't know if you've heard it, but it's a little bit true. And groceries, food has gone up at levels that nobody's ever seen before. We've never seen anything like it, 50, 60, 70 percent. You take a look at bacon and some of these products, and some people don't eat bacon anymore. And uh, we are going to get the energy prices down. When we get energy down, you know, this was caused by their horrible energy wind. They want wind all over the place. But when it doesn't blow, we have a little problem. This was caused by energy. This was really caused by energy and also their unbelievable spending. They're spending us out of out of wealth, actually. They're taking our wealth away. But it was caused by energy. And what they've done is they started cutting way back. We were in third place. When I left, we were by far in first place, beating Russia, beating Saudi Arabia. And we were going to dominate to a level that we've never seen before. And then we had a bad election. I'll be very nice. I'm supposed to be nice when I talk about the election. Because everybody's afraid to talk about, oh, please, sir, don't talk about the election, please. You know, if you can't if you can't talk about a bad election, you really don't have a democracy if you think about it, right? Hey, that's a fact. But, but what they did, Tulsi, is they took, they took back the oil production. The oil started going crazy. That started the inflation. Then they went back. They said, go back to where Trump was. The problem is that we would have been three times that level right now. We, were, we would have been so dominant over Russia and uh, Saudi Arabia, look, Saudi Arabia, Russia, a lot of oil. We would have had more. You know, we had something in Alaska, Anwar, that we, that I created. I mean, Ronald Reagan wanted it. You remember, Ronald Reagan wanted it. They all wanted it. And I got it approved. Nobody was able to get it approved. I got it approved. And they, the first week in office, they turned it back. They mm. said, no, it's the biggest site possibly in the world. Could be bigger than Saudi Arabia. Well, we're going to start that up. We're going to become the energy capital of the world. We're going to pay down our debt, and we're going to reduce your taxes still further. And your groceries are going to come tumbling down, and your interest rates are going to be tumbling down. Woo. And then you're going to go out, and you're going to buy a beautiful house. Amen. Okay? You're going to buy a beautiful house. Amen. That's called the American dream. The American dream. Bro, how can you sit here and, like... How can you not like Trump? I okay. I heard somebody tell me that they they, they wasn't going to vote for Trump based be, because of his personality or because of who he is. But the policies that he stands for, how can you not be for those policies to make America better again? How can you not be for those policies? Like if you if we really looking at the income and everything like that, bro. Right now I live in Chicago. Okay. The average the average household income needs to be seventy eight thousand dollars a year, bro. 
who is making that type of money by themselves unless you are in your career or you got a really really good job but most people don't have great jobs most people work regular jobs you know it could be walmart amazon ups regular jobs you're not making seventy eight thousand dollars a year by yourself you need a two how a two income household like that that's what you need you need two people in your household in order to be able to afford the way that we live in right now gas is high gas is three dollars high as heck groceries bro uh, a thing a, a little thing of mayonnaise like the little bar the little jar of mayonnaise is like i believe it was three to four dollars but if you wanted to get like the do the, the the bigger size the average size M uh mayonnaise is like six to seven dollars bro that's ridiculous for mayonnaise mayonnaise like bro who like that is crazy to me bro that is crazy to me but i love hearing stuff like this because now i know first i was never an undecided voter to begin with you know what i'm saying this is my first year voting myself you know what i'm saying so shout out to me and my boy you know what i'm saying this is our first year voting because i'm 21 i'm pretty sure he's probably like yeah 20 21 so yeah this is our first year voting you know what i'm saying so it's pretty dope it's actually though i'm really trying to study both candidates not really study but look into both candidates to see even though i already know who i'm voting for bro it's like clear as day it's obvious who is more for the bible rather than not you know what i'm saying like come on now kamala she's supporting all type of negative things you know what i'm saying she's not even really focused on bringing down interest rates bringing down all these different things bro i looked at how to get a house or not how to get a house but looking at house prices bro because i do want to get a house and fam when i tell you them prices like this and interest rate is like this and property taxes like that bro it's like bro what the freak i might as well stay in the two-bedroom apartment at this point because the junk is like this high just to get a house bro it's ridiculous to live it's crazy the amount of money that you need in order to survive on this earth bro the amount of money you need to survive in this economy today and then you know what's crazy is kamala and biden they're blaming it all on trump and say well we have the lowest uh economy oh and then you watch kamala cnn interview and she just blaming everything on trump come on now bro do we really have to go back into the history of how these things went off? Because last time I checked, Trump was only in office one time. You telling me a man who was in office one time destroyed everything. Just one time for four years, he destroyed everything. But then we had Obama and Biden. We had Obama. Oh, if we not, if I'm not mistaken, we have Obama and Biden twice. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is how Trump is trying to, he's trying to make America better again off of what the mistakes they did. You know what I'm saying? And he did that. You know what I'm saying? It was living proof. It wasn't just the stimulus checks and all that stuff. Bro. It was living proof that we was living way comfortable back when Trump was in office than now. You know what I'm saying? Because back when Trump was in office, that's when I got my first car. Gas was way cheaper. I didn't even look at gas prices. That's how cheap it was, bro. 20 bucks to fill up my tank. I miss it. I, I miss it. Oh my gosh, you know how much it is to fill up my tank now, bro? Up to 30, no, not even 30. It's $40, 40 to $60 just to fill up my car. And I have a 2017 something. I don't even know, bro. The junk is it's just too expensive. Like, come on now. It shouldn't take that much to fill up a tank. When I had my 05 Grand Prix, when uh, Biden became in office, even though I had that same car when Trump was in office, but I still had the car, bro. Gas was shot up, bro. It, was, it took $35 just to fill up my tank, bro. 35 i went from 20 bucks to fill a tank to 35 bucks bro that's a big difference like to me that's a big difference especially when you're not working no crazy amount of job where you're making that good money you know what i'm saying anyways man hopefully uh trump answered this man's question on you know what I'm saying on whether or not you know who he wanted to vote for because hey undecided voter gen z i get it you know what I'm saying you're trying to you're trying to get into both candidates and that's good because me i Definitely trying to do the same thing you doing, my boy. So, hey, I definitely understand. But hopefully, answer his question. Hopefully, he decides to vote for Trump so we can have a better, so we can live better, bro. So our interest rates and everything can go down. Energy, we can, we can pay off our debt. Like this is ridiculous. We can just live better, bro. We can live way comfortable. We don't have to worry about looking at gas prices every second, trying to run around the whole entire country just to find the cheapest gas. That's that's the that's the worst thing, bro. You gotta run around the whole country just to find the gas that's cheaper. And it may be like three cents cheaper, but three cents make a big difference in today's economy. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications, being your boy the pen. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.